Okay, Mike, we get questions every day uh, about different swing faults, and one of the more common ones is, how do I stop flipping? How do I stop flipping? Do I need to freeze my wrist and hold the club back? And you know, that golfers will try everything to avoid this kind of flip motion where the club turns over really fast and sends the ball all over the place a lot of times to the left. Right, it's the big F word in golf, right? Yeah. It's the F bomb. Yeah. Nobody wants it, right? Because you don't see the guys on TV do it. Mm -hmm. But golfers are really baffled, and it is kind of baffling when you're just left with looking at straight on videos of mm -hmm. what causes you to flip and why can't you get rid of it. And today we're going to give you some drills that are going to do both. All right, Sean, let's kind of first kind of define what we're talking about today. Okay, so we're going to discuss. First of all, what is the scoop or the flip or the flip or the no shaft lean? lean. Yeah. yeah. So um, let, let's set up to the ball here. Okay. okay? It, usually, when I'm coming into the ball and I've got a couple of issues going on, mm -hmm. one of them would be if my upper body is hanging too far back, right? Yep. If I do that, I'm bringing the club in here and then the back of this club starts to back up, the butt of the club backs up, it either flips or some guys will just straight scoop it, yep. right? But in reality, that's no way to hit the ball. Solid. So let's put the club down at address. Yeah. So we're going to see great players have the hands up by the front leg, shaft leaning mm -hmm. forward. Mm -hmm. We're going to see flippers, scoopers, whatever you want to say, the opposite. Hands are more off the back thigh, shaft leaning away from the target. Absolutely. And there's a few reasons why that happens. Yeah, and I think um, the, let's talk about the, the first one, okay? Right. I was talking about just kind of upper body location mm -hmm. because I think a lot of people know they need to shift. I mean, we've, right. beat it, we've beat on them enough now that you've got to shift in a forward swing. But what a lot of guys do, like this is my setup position, this is like the center of my sternum coming out of my chest. What a lot of guys do, they shift hard with the lower, but they leave this upper body, part, uh, center of the upper body back which that puts me in a spot where I have to scoop just to make contact or I have to flip, right? Right, it's a, it's a shove the lower body forward, typically because the pressure shift didn't happen early enough. There wasn't yeah. that recentering move at the top. Mm -hmm. And you shove the lower body forward, a big push off the back foot. That's always gonna kind of give this seesaw effect, tilt you backwards. Now you've moved the bottom of your arc way behind the golf ball. With a closed body usually because oh way, absolutely with a closed the body. way you position there's only you no know, if you do somehow avoid the the straight scoop chunk you're def this club is definitely going to flip down hard you're going to hit a hook yes like uh, you know some guys are good enough to kind of control that where they don't scoop it but this club is flipping over because when you put your body in this position and this momentum takes over it's nothing it can do but or flip they've over. just slid so far forward yeah that they can do it more often than not, but they also complain about back pain, or hip like pain. Hip, hip pain, yeah. yeah. So this club, once it gets momentum, there's no stopping it. You might avoid the chunk, right. but this thing is flipping over and you're hitting it left. That's, that's, exactly that's the right. bugaboo of good players. You get kind of that feeling, right? That's exactly right. And another, and again, we're gonna kind of share with you guys two reasons why it happens. Some of you are gonna have one or the other. A lot of you are gonna have both. Yeah, so what would you say the, the second one would it be? Is where this club face is pointing. Okay, so let's go from down the line this yep. time, right? So I'll take it up to the top of the swing and come halfway down. So we see this club face pointing more to the sky. This is wide open club face. Now, there's basically three ways you can square a club face. Like everybody's familiar with this way, this kind of twisting on the mm -hmm. shaft. You can also square it by lowering the handle, right? That points the face left, that opens the face. Or this helps close the face, this opens the face. Yeah. Leaning. So if you're a guy with an open club face coming down, mm -hmm. certainly late in the downswing, the last thing you're gonna do is have shaft lean. Yeah. Because now you're gonna take an open face, make it more open by the ball, and then you're gonna be fetching balls out of the right trees all day, and nobody does that, so they figure out how to throw the club head at it and try to get a playable shot. Yeah, or I mean the last one, a lot of them will just slam it this way. Right. They might have some shaft lean, but the ball the is ball's going to peel left, right? hard left, those hard pulls. So, you know, a good way to, to work on this is take it back to the top and come halfway down and check your face. Try to get that leaning edge pretty much straight up and down and adjust the club and then regrip it where it feels like you can actually make that grip. From there, you'd be a lot more likely to deliver it with some shaft lean without this scoop flip. Right, because the idea is to give you every incentive to lean the shaft and rotate the body. Yeah. If this club face is coming in 
facing the camera. The last thing I'm going to do is lean and rotate. I'll just be creating a massive wipe across the ball. Yeah, so we really got to eliminate, go back in the swing like we love doing, mm -hmm. and eliminate the causes, the birthplace of all these issues. Then impact is really not something you strive to change anyway. It's, it's something that moment. happens. Yeah. And you're much better at impact. And we're gonna do that through giving you guys a few drills here that are really gonna kind of connect the dots for you. All right, Sean, let's first tackle this open club face at the top because it's gonna be the first thing that happens. So let's start there. Okay. So what a lot, what we see a lot of golfers do is make the backswing, they start the downswing, they've got some cup in this wrist, this club face is wide open, and they're gonna to have to stall everything to throw the club head at the ball to try to square it up. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's reverse that. Let's give you the opposite feel and let the body start to organize that. So what we're gonna do is take this open club face, shift it past square to slightly strong. Now take your normal grip from there. Yeah. I'll hold the club. Mm -hmm. All right, now Sean's gonna to try to make a downswing with rotation and shaft lean without this ball going to the left. That's hard to do. So it's exactly right. So Sean's a guy who can hit a draw in his sleep. So he's really gonna to have to rotate and get some lean. All right, watch so out. let's go over. Okay. All right, we're gonna take it. You're gonna shift it a little nice. close. Yep, yep. All right, you're gonna make a downswing. Again, we're gonna start slow. We're just gonna tap this ball. Yep. Good. There's pretty tons straight of shaft ball. Clean there. Okay. I felt maybe like this. Yes. So you're gonna have to, to keep that ball from hitting your left foot, you're gonna have to really get open and really get these hands up in front of your left leg. Now, what helps with that? is you'll notice what Sean did not do. He didn't get up here at the top and rotate hard this way, because again, that's gonna help him throw the club at it. What he did was get his hands down in front of his chest. Down here. So his rotation can pull the hands forward. Instead of doing it from here, yes. arms are swinging down, right? In front of my right leg yes. into this delivery, and then I can go ahead and rotate the body so that I'm open with my chest, and my chest, when I hit that ball, if I do it right, if this is the center of my upper body, right, here's the ball right here. If I do it right, I'm coming down. This, if I just let this hang down, it's up here more towards my left foot than it was before. That's exactly right. If I close and lean back, look how far back that is. And just right. getting open and being incentivized to get open with a more square face is going to get my chest forward and open. And you can have as much shaft lean as you want. I mean, I, I, I at times have too much. Right? Yes, I have yes. to lessen it. My ball didn't go high enough. That's right. So a lot of people would like to have that problem. So let's work on this drill of feeling a little more closed and you'll be a lot better able to get the club in the right place. Right, which brings us to our next drill. And you've seen, you've seen Justin Rose do this drill a bunch. So we tee, shot, tee up another ball for Sean. Uh -huh. You see your stick there. All right, so what we're gonna do now is, again, we see golfers, and we talked about this in our lead arm depth video. Uh -huh. We see golfers really move that left arm across their chest try to turn, stop, and then have to flick at it because they can't get this arm off the chest. Oh, yes, this is great. Yeah. So Justin Rose does a great drill. We've used it a lot. Mm -hmm. Not Dustin. Justin Rose. Yeah. Dustin Rose. Never he's, met he's Dustin good Rose. Too. I he bet probably he's good. is. I bet he's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a, a page out of Justin Rose's handbook. Yeah. And let's explain to him what's happening here in this drill. So he'll go up to the top, and he'll pump his arms down by keeping his body from spinning out. It's almost right. like he feels his body staying a little bit close. I want to see golfers do it. Do that again? Yeah. Where they keep this shoulder here and pull the arms in. Yeah, so the arms are coming down. The right arm is starting to straighten out. If I didn't, I'd have to tilt excessively to lower the club. So this right arm is starting to straighten. My body can stay a little more closed. A lot of you, what you do is you spin out super early in this arm pins, and now yes. you're forced to flip, right? But if I stay a little more closed and lower, now I'm almost saving some of that rotation is the feeling, right? Yes. And when I save it, the, the things are synced up a little bit better. That's exactly right. So what we're essentially doing is getting this left arm. So this left arm and the chest form an angle here, mm -hmm. right? 100% of the pros that we've measured, major champions, Ryder Cup, or you name it, they're, they're in that group. They increase this angle at impact than where it was at setup. <coughs> Great point. All right. So when most golfers get up here, this left arm is really across the chest, and then at impact, this angle is decreased, yes. right? The pros are <coughs> increasing it, amateurs are decreasing it. So what this drill does is show you how to get this left arm moving more off the chest 
getting the hands more in front of the chest. So when you turn a little bit, you don't have to turn a ton, just turn a little bit. Now the hands are up here by the front leg and you've got this really cool shaft lean that you see on TV. Everywhere. And that's a great point. I think some of it comes from maybe, you know, obviously some drills are good for better players than those. If, you, if you're putting a glove on your arm and maybe putting it a little bit low and having it pinned, right. that can probably cause you to have this issue. And I had a golfer in the other day who had seven inches of hip slide on the downswing, right? And we noticed that his left arm was pinned across his chest more than it was at address. Which right. is Mike, he's like 75, which wow. you know, most of the tour players are out here beyond 90. Yeah. So I had him feel like he swung his arms more across his, just like Mike's saying with this kind of drill, getting the arm kind of down away from the chest. I had him almost feel like this, like his left arm was leaving the side of the chest. He, he had never felt that before, and just from that cue, his slide went from seven to four without talking about hip slide. Right there in the tour range, yeah. So part of the, this working on your golf swing is like these checks and balances. If you're doing something, let's say on the upper body, that may be causing your brain to say, oh, sh you know, I need to slide yes. to make contact because this guy is not moving his arms. Right. So if I get the arms moving like with this Justin Rose type drill, now when I'm here, I don't, I don't need to slide as much. That's right. And, and we really don't see golfers. Right? Everybody likes rotation and impact. But if this arm, if this angle is really less than where it started, which we see 99% of the amateurs have, you're not going to rotate. It, it would cause you to rotate so steeply this way to get the hands forward that nobody's going to do that because it's not playable. And, it's, and you'd have to be so contorted. Yeah which we're just, we just don't see players do. You know, if, if you just were trying to hit a ball really hard with your left arm, you would let this arm go. Right. I mean, you, if I was trying to make some speed with this, I'm not gonna do it like this, right? Right. I'm gonna take the arm and, and whip it through there, and I think, you think like Throwing that. Throwing a Frisbee, right? Nobody throws a Frisbee like this. Exactly. Right, it's all this, boom, letting it fly off. And get and some speed in arms. That's exactly right, and that's essentially what happens. There's too much connection with most amateurs it's a way word. less connection with the pros and that's one of the big reasons why they're able to hit it farther is they're not bound by tying this speed generator right this left arm moving to the slower moving chest so if you've been guilty of doing that you know you might want to feel this motion where the arms kind of work across you more and then magically i mean that's another way to get shaftling mm -hmm. if you like everyone is enamored with shaftling this is a way to start introducing some get these arms moving across you that gets you a little more open as well. As long as the face is square, you're gonna have shaft length. And it's gonna clean up all of this boom, and like Sean said, 100%. tilt moving forward. All right, now the final drill, we rambled on that one a little bit. Ooh. Now the final drill, it's gonna be the most difficult to do. Okay. You're gonna take your normal grip, you're gonna twist the club face really closed. Yeah. Put your normal grip back on. Don't cheat it and just go like this and then you come back to normal. Your normal grip with the club face really closed and not hit the ball left doing it. So this ties into what we did. From the top. Yeah, just a little more exaggerated. Even. Yes. So I've got it shut at about a 45. And yep. the trick here is to try to feel like I can get the impact and what I got to do with my body and the hands. The, hand, the more forward the hands are, the more I can have the face right. square, right? And so we're showing it. you that it's an effect or it's a extension of having the club face in yeah. a much stronger position. Yeah. to get forward shaft lean and you don't to have the to, point of over exaggerating it. Yeah, and you don't have to do a bunch of these to get the feel because I feel like it can start getting you twisting it the right. other way. Just use it, just dabble in it. It's a check. Yeah, it's, it's a, a check. check. Yeah, it's like a barometer if, if you can do it. So if I hit the normal shot, I'm going to hit it off my ankle or that tree over there. <laughs> Watch out, Mike. I'm not sure where this is going. So I'm going to kind of come in there a few times with the sh uh, shaft forward and my body open and just hit one out Good. there. Okay. Let's do that because that's such a cool video to do or exercise to do. Let's back you up a little bit and have you shoot one face on here. Sure. Okay, right here? Yep. So I've got it, you know, 45 degrees closed. Take my normal grip, set up to it. Face is looking behind me. I'm, I'm just trying to feel what it would feel like to come in with a face square and I got to swing my arms across me and get open and have my chest forward. If I have anything back here, this ball is going to go <laughs> behind me. So I'll set up to it close and there's good. a pretty straight ball and don't kill anybody on the putt and, and you don't have good. to try to reach a green in a par five doing this yeah you're chipping these balls at first you're getting the motion down you're feeling what it's like to come in with a strong club face 
and lean the shaft forward to offset that. And that's really what it takes to start compressing the golf ball more, start having that forward shaft lean, and really to start flipping it or scooping it. Or no more flipping, no more scooping. No more F-bombs. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the like. Also, let us know about if there's content that you want us to make that's specific to your swing. Right? You have the most important swing in golf, and we want to make videos to help you play better golf. So leave us comments down below about this video or about something that we haven't made yet that you want to see. Also, don't forget to subscribe. That'll give you notifications just as soon as new videos come out. If you haven't gotten our free distance video yet, Click on the first pinned comment below this video. You'll see a link there, click on that. That'll take you to a page where you can enter your name, email, and we'll send you a free distance video so you can add more distance to your swing instantly, right straight to your inbox.